¿Ya comieron, pobres? Today we have a special segment. So not only hi, welcome to my channel, you blood suckers. Um, welcome to my kitchen. I wanted to do some segments on my channel. I want to do cooking segments. So welcome to Wine and Dine. Pretty much these cooking segments are going to be called Wine and Dine because I am going to plaster through a bottle of red wine. Before you fucking judge me, I'm not weird for being able to finish a bottle of wine. You're fucking weird for not being able to finish a bottle of wine, okay? That's why I decided to call it Wine and Dine, um, because I'm gonna catch a huge buzz and cook some food. I'm gonna open this bottle real quick, and then we're gonna get started. I've been in the restaurant industry for like eight years now, so I like, like to show off my skills. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm so sorry. I just came back from the gym. Um, I didn't really want to get ready for this. I was like, I really like this outfit. It's kind of cute, right? Look at me. Look at me. Yes, look at me. I get to put you on to this Pinot Noir. It's called Marquez Pinot Noir. It's the fucking best, bitch. I literally got a four pack. There's three left, so you do the math. You know what I mean? Um, it was like $6.99. Really good. Target is so fucking clutch. Now, I've become an expert on this, not only because I drink a lot of wine, but because I drink a lot of wine. So. Uh, uh. Yep, that's me. That's me. <laughs> Fucking join me. You guys join me. Grab a beer. Grab some tequila. Tequila. Tequila is also my shit if you guys ever want to um, date me or, you know what I mean, be my friend. Um, so cheers. Yeah. So, this segment is really important to me because if you came on here to further your culinary experiences if you know how to cook and you just want to you know further that um education get the fuck off my page this isn't for you this is for my bitches who can't cook okay for those of you who are too lazy or just don't know how to cook this is for you it's an easy fucking recipe i'm gonna be cooking mole Mole is a traditional Mexican plate. It is kind of, the best way to describe it is like a chocolate spicy chicken. Let's get it started. These are all the ingredients you guys are going to need to make this wonderful dish. Um, so let me just go over it for a, few, for a few seconds. Obviously an onion, like if you don't know what an onion is, like you need to get off my page immediately. So a garlic, um, you, only need, you only need really like two little um, pieces of garlic, but it's always good to have a backup. I have to going to find an ingredient that says mole. You can literally find it at your local grocery store. If you can't find it there, um, just, bitch, go into the Mexican store. We are so friendly. We are so friendly. Literally just ask uh, for mole because we're not about to do this by scratch. I told you this is an easy tutorial. It doesn't have to be Doña Maria. I mean, the brand does not matter. It just has to say mole and it has to be brown, remember, okay? I need tortillas. I mean, you can eat this without tortillas, but that just means you hate yourself, and I'm not going to promote that kind of negativity on my page. So, so my mom likes to use these. She calls them cubitos. <laughs> um, I don't, cubitos means like cubes, but these are. This is pretty much chicken stock. So my mom likes the cube kind. I will show you what they look to um, cook or blend with them because we are going to blend um, this mixture but my mom likes the cubes but you can also do regular chicken stock but as long as it says caldo de pollo okay don't forget that um so the rice and the corn is kind of just as a side dish it's not like the ingredients for the main dish um but i like to give my my white rice a little personality honey you know like that's just my style so i'm going to cook my rice um in a little bit of some corn and corn juice. You have to trust me on this. You just have to, you just have to. But um, peanut butter, the kind without any nuts because who wants nuts in their peanut butter? You're a psychopath if you do. Um, some honey. Um, 
I don't know if there are different types of honey, but this is really just your generic kind of honey. I feel like you like universal, you know? And last but not least, honey, you need chicken. Whether you like white meat or dark meat that's none of my business um but i like dark meat so i have just a bunch of thighs and legs um because i'm really beefy so i like my meat to be really beefy you know what i mean i'm so stupid okay all right let's get fucking started are you guys ready of course you're not i'm about to cook all of you <laughs> first thing we're going to do is we are going to get at the chicken because the chicken needs to boil so that's the first thing we're going to do. Um, we are going to cut the skin off. I mean, the thing is, guys, it all depends. Like, who you're cooking for, how they, if they like to eat the skin, you really need to reevaluate your relationship with this person. That's the first thing I'm going to say. But, um, yeah, if you really fucking love them, peel the skin off for them. That's a huge favor. Um, whoever I cook for, I love. So I'm going to take off the skin. Smack it. Don't forget to smack your meat once in a while. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Please wash your chicken, please. Like, do yourself a favor, do everyone else a favor that you're cooking for, even if you're cooking for yourself, you know what I mean? I'm in my yak, I wanna dance. I'm on that yak, I wanna dance. Come get your man before I put him in a trance. I'm in my yak, I'm on that yak, I wanna dance. Come get your man, come get your man. So after we're done doing this, we're going to boil this chicken. Um, you know, definitely like you want your chicken to cook. You guys always let your protein cook first. Um, it just usually takes a little bit unless it's shrimp. But we'll have, we will have plenty of these segments so that I can teach you some things because I do know how to cook. But again, my demographic here, my key demographic is for all my girls and guys and gays that cannot cook. Um, but you still want to, you know, you still want to do your thing thing. You still want to like flex. I get it. We all want to flex. You guys, key like key thing. Wash your hands. Don't be like me. Um, there's fucking chicken all over this pot that I'm about to put water in, and that's fucking gross. Like, why am I not? And still, I'm still telling you this, and I'm not washing my hands. Lucky I have two safe holes. That's what she said. Get it? Two sinkholes as a whole it's like you know okay if you stop watching right now i understand what's up you need a pot to boil your chicken um because you can't do it on your hand or your feet so you need a pot um again this is not in a condescending way i am literally this is just i understand we're square one right here so um how you cook your chicken with mole you have to boil it for sure i mean you can bake it but that'll take like 11 hours and my sink is really slow so yeah what do you guys how was your day well what are you guys up to make your if you want to make your water kind of more flavorful i would recommend putting onion powder in it or garlic powder you don't need to do it but i'm going to use this um chicken stock i'm going to use it in multiple ways after and you guys will definitely be able to see that but I'm gonna put some onion powder and garlic powder in this shit okay I would set it for like I would set it for like a medium heat um I don't know mine has numbers but if yours doesn't I would do like medium high so I'm gonna do a number four maybe like four and a half just to make it interesting you know okay, guys so huge thing I forgot to mention Please don't forget salt. Don't don't be that person that forgets about salt. Uh, another thing is uh, when you're boiling chicken, just don't forget the cap, okay? Like, you've gotta let it boil, you've gotta let it simmer. Ugh. If you have a pair of tongs, I would definitely recommend to pull those out for sure. Um, but I am just gonna check to see if this chicken is done enough. We're gonna cook it again in another way. Um, so I'm just checking to see if it's like done enough. Um, you guys really, really essential chicken is very hard to cook. It is. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So don't be afraid to just like open it up, 
to see. Um, it looks as though it's good enough. I have to wash the pot that I boiled the chicken in, but as I told you guys, I'm gonna use that juice. So I'm gonna pour it in this thing. Um, where's my fucking wine? Where's my wine? I'm getting pissed. <laughs> I never have my wine when I want it. Oh my God, it's so annoying. Sorry guys. Okay, so everything is everywhere, you guys. I don't, my chicken's here, my pot's there. I'm gonna wash it in a minute. So, um, another thing that you guys are going to need is a blender. I have the Ninja, <laughs> but don't feel bad if you don't have one, um, because bitch me too. This is my roommate's. Um, I'm gonna this shit in. We're gonna plug this shit in. Bitch me. Come on. First things first, um, we're going to open this can. Don't open it with your mouth, by the way. I don't know why I insist on opening these kinds of things with my mouth, but I do. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna put in the mole into the ninja. Judge me, you guys, okay? I'm a little drunk. Like, no, actually very drunk. I'm drinking this shit like it's fucking Gatorade. Um, so I'm gonna get my chicken broth that I told you guys that we were gonna need, and I'm just gonna like pour it into here. It, um, I like it because like, the chicken broth is warm and it will melt like whatever particles left that are in here. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. So, I know it sounds really weird, like peanut butter, right? Like, I don't want to eat peanut butter, like with chicken. Um, but just trust me, you guys. Like, I know what I'm doing. This is a lot, you know. I'm gonna do a scoop full of peanut butter. Um, a lot. So the thing about the honey is that like a lot of people use sugar, and I don't want to use sugar because, as you can see, like I'm fucking, I'm cut. I'm just kidding. Let me pull this up. Now I'm really, I'm not that fit, but like I would, you know, sugar versus honey. I'd rather do honey. I feel like honey is just better for you. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, really, you can do this at the beginning just to kind of like prep, but um. Just kind of, uh, I would do like the end of the onion just in case you want to use the rest um, for anything else. I don't think I'm going to need that much. My mom told me, she's like, just not, like, no mucho, hija, like, not a lot, you know? So, like, I just, I, I don't know. I did a slice, and I'm just going to, like, put it in here. So, garlic is better mashed. So, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the knife, okay? Set it on its side. Not like this. Not, you don't want to cut anything on its side. And then you kind of just, like the garlic okay you just pound that shit okay so then it all kind of falls apart in this fashion use like two dos dientes which means like two little two little things of garlic okay, so you guys this is where the, the cubitos come in so like the cubes of the chicken stock so we're gonna put two in here definitely gonna need more liquid than this so we're gonna do more chicken broth so again this is all trial and error so I'm gonna do that, okay? I'd rather it be more saucy than not, so we're gonna do, always do less liquid than you think, because if you do more liquid, it's harder to kind of compensate for that. So always do a little less than what you think, because you can always add more liquid. You have it right here, so that's what I recommend. Um, okay, so. No judgment free zone but guys i am faded <laughs> like i fucked up while my rice is cooking the mole is gonna cook second okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna we're gonna start again with the pot okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a little bit of oil not too much you guys again i'm so sorry i don't have an exact measurement for you it's kind of just all up to you so i'm gonna do like a little zigzag okay ready that's it that's it i'm just I'm gonna let this simmer at like a three um, because the chicken is cooked now. And so like, if you guys are ever, if you guys ever have to recook something, don't set the stove too high. I'm drunk, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I can hear the oil starting to like actually, you know, make noise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my marinade now in here. This is key, you guys. I don't even know what this is called, but get one of these a squingy thing i don't fucking know but don't be afraid you know because it's not cooked so don't be afraid just now you put your chicken in here too your chicken's already cooked so i wouldn't really trip about mix it up mix it up get your chicken in there get it in there like swimwear 
this is the way your mole should look creamy saucy oh my god i literally just did you see that did you, <laughs> i just like i'm so drunk okay so like that's the way it should look it should look saucy it shouldn't look too oily so like always just mix it so we did it um the mole is set okay i let it cook for a minute but it's it's good the rice is good too this is what you've been waiting for this is the mole this is the chicken i have two um leg pieces and a thigh my favorite. drink it's really good i drink the whole bottle wine and dine you see this this is what's left on the bottle you guys i'm buzzed and i have five tortillas so it all depends on your taste but um yeah totally like thank you guys for tuning in